Hello, this is Professor Hester, and I'm going to show you how we can add a series of numbers and calculate their average. First, let's define some terms. A running total is a sum of numbers added one at a time. The sum changes each time a number is added, so the running total at any time is the total we have so far. This is similar to what happens when you ring up groceries. As each item is scanned, you can see the new total. An accumulator is the variable that is used to hold the running total. It must be defined before the loop is defined, and it needs to be initialized to zero before it is used. Let's see how we can create this in a program. I want to create a loop that allows a user to enter 10 numbers. After the numbers are entered, I will calculate and display their average. So I'm going to start by creating a named constant count to hold the number of times the loop should execute, which is 10. Later, if I want to change how many times the loop executes, I can easily change it here. I'm going to create three other variables. I need an integer to hold the user's entry, and I need an accumulator to hold my running total. I will use variables current and sum. I must initialize sum to zero before we can begin using it. Now, while it would work to initialize it in the for loop heading, this compiler is particular and will complain if I don't do it here. Also, I want to calculate the average of the numbers entered, so I need variable average. Now, while the numbers the user will enter are integers, the calculated average may be a floating point number, so I should define it as a double. Now let's build the loop. Because I know how many times I want to execute the loop, I will use a for loop. In the initialization part of the heading, I define integer i to count the loop iterations. Notice that I am starting i at 0. Oftentimes in computer science, we begin counting with 0. We will see that soon with arrays. Next, I build the test condition. Since i begins with 0, I want to execute the loop as long as i is less than our named constant, count. Finally, I will increment i each time the loop executes. Inside the loop body, I prompt the user to enter a number. Then I will store the entered number in current. I add current to sum our accumulator variable, and we are finished with the loop body. Once the loop finishes, I can calculate the average. I need two things for the average, a sum of numbers and a count of the numbers. I have both of these items in sum and count. So I type average equals sum divided by count. Do you see any problems with this? Remember what happens when we divide integers. We run into a problem with integer division. So I must promote one of these variables to a double. I don't want to redefine the variables, so I will temporarily cast the first one as a double. 
I'm going to type static underscore cast and then in angled brackets I'm going to put the variable type double and enclose the variable I am typecasting in parentheses. This code fragment tells C++ to temporarily promote variable sum to type double. Now what about variable count? C++ coercion rules state that it will be automatically promoted to match sums variable type, which is now a double. All right, the final step in my program is to display the result. Here I create a message and show the value of average. Let's compile and test the program. I'm going to go up to debug, start without debugging. And then my console window opens and it asks me to enter an integer. So I'm going to enter a series of different integers. It can really be any value. And with these values I entered, it calculates the average as 8.3. So the program appears to be working. And let's review some things we just talked about with averaging numbers. Before we begin, we must initialize our running total to zero. Then we use a loop to add each number to the running total. After the loop finishes adding the numbers, we can calculate the average. Remember, don't compute the average inside the loop. This is a common mistake, but we don't know the final total until after the loop has finished.